After watching this video, students will be able to draw circles with accuracy and precision using various methods. It's time now to draw circles. There are a couple of terms you must become familiar with before we get started. The first term is diameter, which is the distance across a circle from one edge to the next. The second term is radius, which is the distance from the geometric center of a circle to its outside edge. Circles are measured in one of the two ways, by diameter or by radius. The default method for circle measurement in AutoCAD is by radius. A third term is tangent, a straight line or plane that touches a curve or curved surface at a point, but, it ex but if extended does not cross at that point. The best way to understand tangent is to think of a round object that sits on a flat surface. The point at which the round object and the flat surface make contact is the tangent, or tan. In AutoCAD, there are six different methods that can be used to draw circles by radius, diameter, two-point, three-point, tan-tan radius, and tan-tan-tan. Let's start with radius. To activate the circle tool, you can click on the default icon in the draw panel, which will draw by radius or you can click on the drop down arrow right under the icon to start the circle tool in any of the modes available. And lastly, you can type the word circle into dynamic input. If you select the circle tool by dynamic input, you will find other circle tool options in the command lines, but not to the extent of choices under the drop down in the draw panel. If you like, open the circle from the default icon because this first one we will draw by radius. Drawing the circle by radius is simple as drawing a straight line. Click anywhere to establish the starting point of the circle, then type in the value of the radius. In this example, we will use the value of 20 units. Drawing circles by diameter is the same as drawing by radius. The only difference is that you would enter a diameter value instead of a radius value. I'll spare you the demonstration on that one. Let's draw a three-point circle. Before we start, however, zoom out slightly and copy the 20-unit circle you made earlier. Select the circle and type copy in dynamic input. Press the enter button and select the center point of the circle as the base point. Drop one copy of the circle just a little above the original. Then drop a second copy a little to the right of the original. We will use these as our reference points for the three-point circle. Type the term circle in dynamic input and press the enter button. Look in the command line to find the criteria for a three-point circle. We can type 3P into dynamic input to activate the three-point circle tool. The dynamic input states that we need to specify first point on circle. Hover over the rim of the lower right circle to activate the center point reference. Then click in the center point to place the first point. The dynamic input now states specify the second point on circle. So establish the second point at the center of the original circle. Next, dynamic input tells us to specify the third point on the circle. So we click on the center of the circle to the top of the original, and we now have a three-point circle that references three points that we designated. Let's move on to the tan-tan radius circle. First, draw two random rectangles arranged similar to the ones I have on my screen. Pause the video here and come back when you're done. Now activate the tan-tan radius circle by clicking on the drop-down arrow under the circle tool icon and select the tan-tan radius circle tool. On the screen, hover over a line of one of the rectangles that face the inside of the rectangle arrangement. Notice the tan symbol that appears where the cursor once was. And the statement in dynamic input says specify point on object for first tangent of circle. It does not matter where on this line you click, so just click to select the line. The dynamic input now states that we are to specify point on object for second tangent of circle. So click anywhere on the adjacent rectangle's interfacing line. Now dynamic input tells us to specify radius of circle, which we can do by typing the value into dynamic input. The tan, tan, tan circle works the same way, with the exception 
that you need three surfaces instead of two, and you would not enter a radius value for the circle 